Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. Today, yeah, I'm just gonna play Isaac. I like playing Isaac. Best character, blah blah blah. D6 is too good. Okay, I have just woken up, and uh, I think that's already evident. But it's cool. It's all gonna be cool. Alright, now I feel less bad about going to this curse room immediately. Kamikaze flies, twice their damage, it's okay. It's okay. Could be a lot better. I was hoping to get a reroll for a double room item, but I, or just get a good item right away. Of course, but it's alright. It's totally alright. Or like a teleport to the double room would have been fun too. Guess I'll go to the secret room knowing it's here. Six cents. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Every time I do this, uh, every time I bomb in after having seen it from a curse room, people are like, why don't you just walk in from the curse room? There's no difference. Like, <laughs> it doesn't matter. There is no difference between the two choices. Okay, I'm not getting another reroll. I'm willing to promise you that. So I'm just going to go to the item room. Yeah, could have told you that. Did tell you that. Excuse me, Hopper. You have business to attend to over this way. Oh my god, it's just running away from me. What does it think it's doing? Okay, so let's see that we get the Monster Manuel, which will increase our library chance by picking it up, so I guess that's good. But uh, then we get Distant Admiration. That's pretty good. Five damage per hit. Hits pretty much constantly. I like it. I like it. It's, uh, it's good for me. It's special, so I probably shouldn't have taken it until after the boss, but it's okay, because I don't really do that. Okay. Damn it. Well, let's try not dying. Not dying would be a smart thing to do. But you did see it just completely melt famine, right? It's really good if you're willing to use it. It just happened to get me hit for a full heart and put me to near death. Which is also partially due to the curse room, so it wasn't actually that dangerous uh, in a vacuum. Oh good, only half a heart of recovery. This is going to be interesting. So now we get a cube of meat though. And that's going to do 7 damage on hit, but doesn't hit nearly as constantly and it's closer range. So it's uh, got some disadvantages. But it also blocks tears, so it's pretty much that's what's important. Because distant admiration does not block tears, of course. So they both have their uses. And I'm okay with both of them. Alright, what then? Where's the item room? Right there. That is perfect. That is so perfect. Okay, um, let's get that in there. Then get that in there. Check. Book of Shadows. Would be great as Blue Baby, however. Bomb bag, that's not good. Uh, yeah, I am going to go fight two more rooms to get another four ticks of charge so that the boss room completes my charge for my D6. Ideally not getting hit along the way. I'm going to save this until uh, a bit later. In hopes of not getting a bad trip, for example. Okay, I'm not going to make that in time. Oh, calm down. Another key is good, and a secret room is right here, which means we get a slot machine, of course. What else would we get? Alright, so I'm hoping that this is going to be full health, but I'm going to wait until I'm down to, like, half a heart to use it, basically. Could still be, like, health down or something, but I'm, I'm hoping here. Wow, I didn't even go for hitting with the uh, <laughs> attack fly. It just hit it a little bit and did insane damage. Alright, that was a little... Oh, so good. Oh, I thought I would hit there. Totally. Alright. That went much better than expected. So we do get our devil room. I don't honestly want to take the stem cells because it's a uh, shot speed up. Wow. If only I even had the soul hearts, then I'd be mad I didn't take the Book of Shadows here. So I don't want the bomb bag. I don't want this. 
Okay, that's enough to go to the shop, guaranteed, because it always gives you seven coins, and that means that those coins could be a dime or a nickel. So I'm okay with that because I can go to the shop now and hopefully buy the habit. Which means I should wait to go to the curse room until after I have gotten whatever from the shop. Huh, <sighs> gotta think about these things sometimes. Okay, it's that. Probably should not have bought that soul heart. Death. Alright. Well, <laughs> I'll go back for the death card. Telepills is a random teleport, of course. And then there you go. So I just spent five cents to go to the curse room for no reason, basically. Okay, so there are two pills. Balls of steel and tears down. Honestly, I would not consider that a particularly good trade. I would prefer to have tears up. Uh, or just, you know, not tears down, because now I'm shooting too much less, because having nothing is just bad. Having no tears ups and then getting a tears down, not cool. So we have to hope that we can get something good now. So I'm not going to spend my 15 cents on the candle, there's no way I'm doing that. I'm also not going to take the bomb bag, because dropping familiars stack their drop times. So having more than one dropping familiar means both of them will drop far less often. Curse of the Labyrinth. That is annoying. That is very annoying. Alright, I should probably start looking at uh, enemies when I shoot. Means that uh, we only get one devil room and one shop on this uh, pair of floors. Oh, well, one devil room chance, of course, because it's not like you're ever guaranteed a devil room after getting another one, pretty much. You can be but it's going to get less and less likely that you're going to be able to guarantee it for yourself, if you know what I'm saying here. But fortunately this does, even though we lose a Devil Room in potential, it does mean we're more likely to earn this Devil Room because there's only a 50% multiplier rather than a 25% multiplier. Okay, are you joking? One day I will kill you. At least we have the two keys now. It does take a key to get to both item rooms, of course. Okay. Just using the fly. The fly is good. The fly does all the work. I will happily go to that curse room later. Not now, however, because that's just silly when I have soul hearts that can still help me get a devil room here, as that is still a thing that I can be doing with my soul hearts. Otherwise, yeah, I'd go to the curse room. Okay, one of these days I'll actually hit some tears, and then that'll probably help out immensely. So I'm hoping to get carried here in this, uh, in this upcoming pair of item rooms. I want to go this way. Alright, this is a little bit annoying. Yeah, okay. I saw that coming. You can't really predict the angle that they're going to shoot out at, because it's pretty random. Telepills does not interest me at all. I might remember to come back for it to use as a uh, chance at the I am error room once I'm done with the floor, but I doubt that as well. Chances are I will completely forget about it, and everyone will be upset. 4 and 4, 15 cents. This shop also can be greed. That's a 50% chance right now. Since I have no clue if there's a mini boss on the floor, I'll just take damage twice. I really hate Claudies. Have I ever mentioned that before? Yes, is the answer. I've mentioned it countless, countless times. Not greed. Buying the soul heart. And we'll probably get up to 15 cents as we continue. Actually, there's 4 cents laying around. So I may as well re-roll for the habit, while I have nothing else to re-roll. My goodness. Oh my goodness. That's not nice. Wow, that was not nice of me to myself. Like, why would I do that? He was just trying to be a good guy, and then he hit himself, basically. <laughs> the stars. I don't have a charge yet. I'll use it after. Alright, I did want to let that go off. Mutant Spider. 
That's a very interesting offer. Screw it. I'm taking it this time because of my low fire rate. I know it's going to bite me. There's pretty much no way it's not. It always does when I'm Isaac. I'm going to get Polyphemus and Mom's Knife just naturally in item rooms or chests or something. And then it's just going to be sad because I'd be doing half as much damage as I should be. Just because I could have easily avoided Quad Shot. But I'm rolling with it and it's going to be great. That's the idea, at least. Tons of money once again, so now the shop is viable again. Not that it wasn't already, I could have easily bombed to it. Another key. Sadly, I don't have a teleport back to the shop, and I have to go through all these rooms and waste charges. But it's alright, I guess? Can't win them all. Okay. Oh my god, I need fire rate right now. <laughs> I mean, this is probably still better than having only the one shot that I would have had without quad shot, but I don't know. I really don't actually know. Okay, let's reroll that shop item. I'll take the telepills along with me so that it's right next to the boss when I go get my death card again. It's caves, so we're not going to be fighting the hollow, sadly, because that's like the perfect, perfect boss for... Um, the death card. You get one-shotted, and that would be pretty awesome. I'm not looking for the secret room. Of course, I could have bought the treasure map, and that would have shown me the secret room, but I don't have any interest in that. Habit's the only thing from the shop that I want right now. I guess I'd take the purse, even though I have only one trinket at the moment. That's cool. It's all cool. Alright, so now I want to fight the two bosses, since I'm right there. I don't have any soul hearts, but it's cool. I want to fight the bosses so that I get the charge perfectly, if I somehow manage a devil room. Delightful. I don't think this run's going particularly well, though. My tier's very, very low, and I don't... I have quad shots, that makes it even lower. So... I was testing it myself, but yeah, I, I can't do it. Someone told me that if you pause the game or if you use Book of Belial, the person said Book of Belial, so I tested pausing because that's the same case with challenge rooms, uh, then I tested with the Book of Belial specifically. If you use it when you uh, split the fistula parts, then you get, it counts you as finishing, and then you can leave and get another, you can get the item and then leave, and then fight it again or something. And I just wanted to test it for sure, but I could not replicate it. I tried very hard. So I just am going to call that one not a thing. But I'd love to be proven wrong, because just being able to pause the game on the split and having the game think that you defeated the boss would be excellent. That would be so useful. That would be really so useful. But actually, I think it's a little less useful than I, I was giving it credit for. So of course we could have rerolled that first boss item to get a cube of meat since the second boss has the cube of meat as its pool. But I don't know why I would want to do that. Then I'd have a third level cube of meat and that would be bad. So chances of us getting a devil room 1%. 0.5%? So I'm not, uh, I'm not expecting it. Doesn't mean it can't happen, because it can. But the chances are so slim. Okay, we're almost done with you. Now we are done with you. We get our heart back. Second cube of meat. Shop reroll, and then we're out of here. Uh, well, of course, to find the other item room is what I mean. So... I don't need that heart. Till the end of the floor, at least. No, not into the compass, either. Curse room is a likelihood, going back to it. Let's find the item room, though. I guess I wouldn't use a reroll on it immediately. I'd want to go to the curse room first. That's about what I expected. As far as location goes, there's still is enough to get us another charge. Wow, I'm not touching that because a mini boss can drop it. It's already out of the item room pool unless we happen to refresh. 
so, uh, oh god, we, we're not getting another charge unless this other room over here has a room off of it, and then I go to the challenge room. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, okay, we might be able to do it. So the new uh, second level cube of meat is now a familiar that shoots along with us while doing all of its other stuff. It's a pretty good dude. Oh wow, this is just an even larger floor than originally anticipated. So there are two hearts laying around that are not hard for me to get. I don't know how that thing didn't get blown up there, right next to the TNT. I don't know. Some questions are better left unanswered, I guess. Eh, yeah, may as well take that. Oh, that was my own fault. As are most things, but that's not the point. That one was the point. Right there, that particular hit. Oh my god, my fire rate needs some help. Okay, so I'm gonna go all the way back to the shop. Gonna use a bomb to get this out of the way. Because I do need to go to the curse room. Oh, I'm going to the curse room before the shop. Then I'm going to the shop. Unless, of course, I use a reroll in there. Then I won't go to the shop until I have another reroll. If I get one. Which I will use the challenge room for if necessary. So yeah, that eternal heart becomes a health up. Should we get it to the next floor? And that's pretty, pretty valuable. I'm a fan of that. Alright, still a chance. Oh... Let's take the mark, damage up, speed up, and not demon baby. Alright then. It's not a tears up, but any amount of damage up is helpful. So I guess there is that. Let's see if there are any more rooms after this other one here. And that's, again, that blow is lessened because I have that eternal heart. So I'm not super worried. I guess let's get out of here because there aren't two more rooms which means I'm not getting another charge. What was in that item room, Mr. Boom? So we're done here. Although, actually, I should do the challenge room simply for the reason that it's free with this death card. It is totally free with this death card. So let's do that. Boom! Now everyone dies. The Globins died because they hadn't finished being evaluated. Enemies aren't evaluated immediately, basically. Like, they know what they spawn as, but their properties aren't set. So you can do silly things like kill Globins immediately. Eh, I may as well use this just in case. Eh, sure. Uh, you can think, do things like kill Globins immediately, uh, shoot knights from the front, get red boom flies to explode as if they're normal boom flies. You, th all those things happen. So it's, uh, it's a matter of how early you kill them. And that's why the Globins don't matter, basically. You can just kill them. I knew you'd shoot at me. Don't think I didn't. So Greed is in this shop, unless there's another mini-boss or Greed in the secret room. It's okay as long as Greed wants to drop the quarter here. If uh, Super Greed drops us the quarter, we are still in the shop business. Okay, you're a butt, Super Greed in a bad way. He didn't even want to drop it for us. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I did take some red heart damage too, so that uh, was bad. But I wasn't dodging very actively either. So I can't say I expected anything less. I just hate dealing with keepers. Library, that's good. We touched two books, so there are six left, maybe? Perhaps? Okay, don't be a jerk. I'm still at Isaac base health. I mean, I'm once again at Isaac base health. Health is the way to look at it, really. But I'm still at Isaac base health. It's a bit late in the game for that. So, I would rather not fight a horseman, so I'm just not going to use the uh, Book of Revelations there. Alright then, that's three more books gone. I imagine we have... Let's see, we touched the man well. We've touched... Oh god, this room is gonna kill me. Alright. I'm dead. Now we have Angel Room possibility. That is good. I like that. And, oh my god, a decent fire rate. The Tears Down could have been my death. 
So I don't touch the razor because I can do cool things with it later, potentially. I don't like the mini mush. Why didn't I just go to the curse room first? Curse room, save me. Neither of those happens to be Sacred Heart. And I'm just going to hold the R key. Reset. There we go. <laughs> I was unsure if it was going to load for a second. And I was like, oh no. Isaac gave up. Alright, get out of here. Get out of here. Excuse me. Thank you. Get a nickel. That's pretty good. That means we can get an arcade on the next floor if we don't lose any of this money for whatever reason. I should fight the boss because it's actually possible that I get another reroll, but it's unlikely. I'll still do it. This time, let's be proper about it. Okay. Duke of Flies. Not hard. Uh, as long as I can actually hit it, which is the problem always, because it spawns flies for that very reason. I wish we could have a halo of flies that was larger than three. Well, halo of flies gives you two, but I wish we could have more than three protective orbitals. That would be awesome. I mean, I would even be okay with it if um, each protective orbital, like after the third one, had health or something, and as it got hit, it died eventually. Because that would give pretty flies so much value. You could just get tons of pretty flies, but... And, once you have three, they each have a health bar, and it, or well, maybe not a bar, because that would get really obstructive, but they each have health, and it could even be really small, but having enough of them, getting you pretty much in vulnerability to tears for a while, would be really awesome. So I'm taking health up, and that's not really a question. <sighs> but I could have ended up using the reroll. Now I'm pretty unlikely to get another one. Sloth. I don't mind that very much. Be nice if I got an item from him. Because the reroll, I mean, it's not different from rerolling the item room. It just starts as something that can't be good instead of something that could be good if it really, really wanted to be. We didn't get an item. Hermit teleports us to the shop that doesn't have anything. I don't want to do that. We also got the safety cap to increase pill drops. Hopefully the pills are good. Okay, so the secret room is where I thought it was, and as such, I'm going to go there, and maybe it'll have nine cents in it, and then I can go to the shop on the first floor if I can find a key somehow. Let's do it. Let's do it. Minimizes our range, but maximizes our tiers. That could be fun. That is nine cents. Now I just need a key out of the fact that I have the hermit. So, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna buy the key, I'm gonna buy the soul heart, and I'm going to leave. I feel like that was the right play, because it was. Uh, the compass is good, but I'd rather save more of my money by not buying it, because it is not only in the pool once more, but also is not the habit. So, I'm gonna move my legs because my feet are getting cold. And now I'm back. Ah, yes, the warmth for my feet is much, much nice. Nicer. I would love if I had a bomb to go to that beautiful, lovely dime. At the moment, I do not. Alright, get out of the face, get out of the face. Bombs are key? I guess now I do, but I don't have any keys, and I don't know that I'd rather use my only bomb in this situation when I could get another bombs or key and be much happier with that. Which is, I think, what I'm going to hope for. I do have the safety cap, so it's not like pills aren't more common. And I, I've got a chance of what I want happening. Only thing that sucks about number one is the short range, which is kind of a big thing. Okay, so there's a key. There's an item room. Let's try not to take any full hearts of damage here. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's one down. That's two down. I still didn't take any red heart damage. Note that this floor won't have a guaranteed devil room. Let's use it now, yeah. D20. Well, that sucks. Guess I'll use it right here. Oh, good. 
Dr. Fetus? No. I hate that item. So I guess I'll... Actually, I will take it this time. For once. Simply because the video is already far too long, basically. Uh, if I don't take it. So that allows us to shoot bombs. And <laughs> number one is the reason that they are yellow and have a yellow explosion. It also adds... Uh, Mr. Mega and Bobby Bomb to the pool six times each to the item room pool. So that's cool. And I'm not going to be all negative about it. Yeah, I hate the item. It's fine. I'll get over it. Uh, hopefully we can build that beautiful combination of those three items, basically. That's all I want to do. Okay. If I don't find the secret rooms... And the shop, not the shop, the secret room and top secret room. I'm the worst. You sure about that? Yeah, you're sure about that. Top secret room could have been there. I will go to this curse room just because. Okay. Eventually I'll be shooting troll bombs, ideally. That's not it either. You make my life tough. But as it stands, there is no reason for me not to blow up pretty much everything. People want me to take this item more. So fine, I'll take it this time, simply due to circumstance. This one time. It's not Epic Fetus. Watch me find Epic Fetus this game. That'd be hilarious, just hilarious. This has to be it, right? Yeah, thought so. You are unknown, you are bombs or key. Uh, well, I don't want bombs or key. Tears up, doesn't even matter. I already have all of the tears. Which does slightly affect Dr. Fetus. Okay, I'll buy the Soul Heart. Not interested in the other stuff. Why would I buy a bomb? Why would I do that? Note that blowing up poops and fires does not get you drops, so there's no reason to do it. And then let's be on our way. This floor, we can still not get greed. As in, we're guaranteed not to get greed. So I'm into that idea. Question marks. Health down. Well, that sucks. I kind of want to stack health as <laughs> with this setup. Another bombs or key pill. That's just silly. Okay, this is a little awkward. <laughs> Fistula, you're so weird. Uh, now let's fight the boss since we have no reason not to. So we're going to get a cube of meat here. And that'll be nice because then we'll have an actively shooting familiar once again. There's our devil room that I pretty much don't care about. Krampus might affect... I don't think the lump of coal will affect Dr. Fetus. Damage does affect it, but I don't think it's worth the health here, and, I mean, I'll give it a reroll simply because Brimstone doesn't overwrite Dr. Fetus, I don't remember. I'd never take the item, as we all know. So, it either does or doesn't, obviously. I know Mom's Knife does. I know that. But I don't know about Brimstone. Well, all I really want to find is Mr. Mega. Toothpicks, shot speed up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, yeah, all I really want to find is Mr. Mega or Bobby Bomb. Both of which are incredibly good with this setup. Alright. Uh, I just like to do it. Since they are like seven times more likely to show up than anything else. I wouldn't call it unlikely. Speed up. I dislike that, but I can roll with it. That's another bombs or key that I don't want. I mean, yeah, I'm fine using it once, but I'm going to save it for that uh, opportune moment. Quarter, I definitely don't want or need that. Be bad to take since we can farm it having the D6. So let's see what we got. I just... Oops. I almost freed them. That would have been catastrophic. They would have wreaked havoc upon the whole world. Of course. Alright, I guess... Yeah. Nine more cents. And then we can go on our way. 
Where is our way? Oh no, this bomb's a key pill is in the way. Oh, we're just barely not gonna, we can get a charge. I always forget about challenge rooms. I'm not forgetting this time. See, look at how much more opportune this moment is. Oops, <laughs> silly me. Red hearts. No arcade for me to use those with, because this is the first of the two floors. So I guess that doesn't interest me very much. Uh, would be a viable strategy to screw it. All right. Yeah, I didn't think that would come back to bite me, because why would it? I have Dr. Fetus. Not a lot of things come back to bite me as with, I, with Dr. Fetus. Probably saved me time, ultimately. So I'm down for that. And it's just one of those little things that can make it a little more challenging for me. I haven't gone to the shop for some reason when I had an, a perfectly available reroll. I mean, I'd rather be rerolling in the item room, but let's think about this. If it's the habit in there, then I'm in really good shape. Battery. Take a chance. Butts. Well, let's go to the curse room for fun. Don't know this pill? Balls of steel. And I'm not very interested in taking a health down pill. When we really think about it, I am I still profited because of the balls of steel. Alright. Let's find everything. Cool. I should just start checking as I go through rooms just for convenience. Just so that I don't actually end up having to backtrack to get things. The meat cube is and can hit uh, the bomb to give it a little bit of extra boost. Okay. Oh, you suck. You suck. Claudie's much less annoying when you have uh, Dr. Fetus, I must admit. Alright. Woo! Calm yourself, Gary. I walked right into it. That was good. That was really good. Angel Room, Sacred Heart, it's just like pretty much a given at this point. Okay, I'm just taking it, not even gonna tempt fate here. And then I will reroll this for a health up. Having another orbital is pretty valuable, especially one that makes things go around faster. I don't have a reroll, I may as well not go to the curse room yet. This bombs or key pill is just getting more and more valuable as far as keys are concerned. Of course, it's equally not valuable at all as far as um, bombs are concerned, but that's not the point. Now it's got something. There's one. So now our bomb's home in, which means pretty much we're a death machine. Okay, let's, uh... There we go. Just gonna take it. <laughs> so now all we need is Mr. Mega, which is not unlikely to happen. Bobby Bomb also gave us five bombs. Which is nice. Ah, key. I like this prospect. Can't get to that boss challenge room, that is for sure. I have far too much health, and uh, now I've picked up an eternal heart, so I'm certainly not going to get like down to one heart. It's okay. Uh, it can't give us item room items, and Mr. Mega is pretty much all I want now. Note that Bob's Curse does not work with Dr. Fetus. It only works with your placed bombs, and Dr. Fetus bombs are not your placed bombs, for whatever reason. Or at least not your placed bombs as far as it's concerned. Mr. Mega works with any bombs that seem to have an attribute similar to your character. Okay, there's that, and you have that, that I probably... Oh wait, what am I doing? What am I doing, besides not blowing that up? Um, this is the Balls of Steel pill? Yeah, it is. I can just go to the boss challenge room through here. Meat, health up, damage up. I'm into that idea. Stop jumping. There you go. Ah, the homing bombs. So good. So yeah, health up and... It's a small damage up, but a damage up. 
There's nothing not to want about it. Wow. Of course you hit me. Straight up, of course you did. Yeah, I may as well go to the shop. 50% chance we lost. But if we get the quarter, all is forgiven. We didn't get the quarter, nothing is forgiven. Fine. So I've been to the secret room, I've been to the top secret room. I don't want to go to the arcade for any reason. I've rerolled everything. I'm out of here. Next floor, we won't fight Greed unless it's an XL floor, and then we do have the chance, as long as Greed doesn't appear elsewhere or there's no other mini boss. But we'll worry about it when we get there. And. Necropolis 1. Immediate curse room, why not? Two soul hearts of. So profit. Uh, okay. Now is a good enough time for me to use bombs or key. Get another balls of steel pill. This is insane. Truly, ultimately, insanely insane. Hehe, <laughs> you thought I'd get hit. I am terrible against fistula now. That one? That might have been avoidable with some of the most beautiful movement anyone's ever seen. But I question any normal mortal and his ability to do such a thing. Don't think we know that pill. Yeah, we sure don't. Bad trip. Okay, that's good to know. Because that means it becomes full health if it would kill us. So, we're in business. Alright, shop can't be greed. I have 69 cents, which is the perfect amount of cents. 9 volt is good, but... Ah, habit's not better yet, because it's not there. No, the habit's better. See, there's a compass. Sadly, a bit too late, so that we've already seen it in the pool twice, I think. The shop pool, that is. Uh, I would probably prefer to reroll this for skeleton key. Why would I need to do that? I don't have the tail or anything. I think that that's about the best we could have done, or a health up. But uh, it's not very important that I rerolled that at all. That's not the secret room, evidently. Stay away from me, you monster. Just making sure, even though I know that's the exact same one I checked already. Well, I found it. Bombs are key. No. I should blow them up, but I am the ultimate and lazy. Get out of here. Oh my god, I'm so good. Alright, now is the time for Mr. Mega to appear. That's balls of steel. Does it get much sillier? Truly? Does it? Uh... Alright, let's be honest with ourselves. I need to maximize this. I don't have another option. If I don't do it, I'm just hopeless in life. Then I can get the habit and I can guarantee myself a beautiful... I will definitely take the purse. Hold two trinkets. Uh, we're getting lots of balls of steel pills, and I'm okay with that. So if I can keep the safety cap, boom. Okay. So now let's go this way. Thought you had something on me, but you didn't. Okay, golden key for the floor is a bit late, but not unacceptable. Uh, I will keep Wheel of Fortune rather than the alternative of uh, bombs or key. I've used the bombs or key to my satisfaction. I found you. And then I'm going to find the item room and it's going to immediately be Mr. Mega. That's all it needs to do. And then I can win. Not that I can't already win. I'm probably going to win. If I had to take a guess, probably I'm going to win. Health down does not really interest me, I'd have to say. 
That is not Mr. Mega. Well, before re-rolling the shears, I'm going to fight the boss. Well, I'm not re-rolling the boss's item, that's for sure. Wow, War, quit being a jerk. Okay. Cube of meat, I'm not taking. Third level meat boy is not good. Compared to second, especially chocolate milk, new. No. Been to both places I need to be. Let's get out of here. Alright, we know that the shop is not, cannot be greed, as greed is in the secret room. I could farm greed here. Probably not gonna. If I just had to be honest with you, I would say that I'm not gonna do that. Seven cent habit. Great, great, great. See what you are. The hermit teleports us to the shop. So we want to take that to the boss room. So that we can leave and then go back. And be able to get a potential devil or, devil or angel room. That'll be good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I also, of course, do want to go to the item room. But I don't care about order very much. Uh, <laughs> my throat just like decided to screw you, buddy. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't need to go to the item room immediately. It looks like the boss room might be closer. I mean, it's definitely closer after I made that choice, as far as direction was concerned. But I think it might have been closer anyway. Not certain. Okay. Oh no. Okay, so we'll use this teleport. It'll take us back to our card as well, our other card, the Wheel of Fortune that I'm saving for the chest so that I can blow it up and get a fifth item in the starting room. Okay, I just kind of let loose a flurry of bombs at each door, and then I'm pretty guaranteed to hit with something. Oh, gosh. Boom, health up, we get to take our Polaroid and our safety cap. We get this, we check, just in case there is something to reroll, that would be nice to know and have and do. Then we can leave, go to the item room, get Bobby Bomb, Mr. Mega that is. Devil Room. Well, that doesn't entice me very much. Mom's Knife. I could take it, and it would overwrite Dr. Fetus for sure. I'm definitely going to take Guppy's Tail, however. Uh, you know, I feel like more people are going to complain about Mom's Knife than Dr. Fetus, since I take it far more often, and I'm okay with that. We'll just play this out as it is. Okay, I don't really want to look for the top secret room, but we'll see what happens. I know I'm not getting to that boss challenge room, I'll say that much. So Guppy's Tail is going to increase the drop rate of chests and golden chests and decrease other drop rates. That's fine because I have lots of keys and a Wheel of Fortune with lots of money if I really need to worry about my key count. Alright, you're dead probably. Yeah, you're dead. Isaac's head does not appeal to me more than the safety cap since the safety cap has done many good things for us so far. And I, I want to appreciate it for longer. It and its balls of steel galore. Alright, lemon mishap, I don't need that. My little unicorn, I don't need that. And as much as I want to just use the fire because it's there, there's a blood donation machine that is right here. So I'll get my charges this way. And then out of sheer laziness, I'll blow you up. You can't have two Polaroids or anything like that. See, I'll just walk over it as if it doesn't exist. So there's one red heart in that room. There are a bunch of red hearts over there. All I want is stuff. All I want is stuff. No, Mr. Mega. I'm on a hunt for you. And if this pays out with a blood bag, fine. 
I'm fine. That's all I gotta say. Bomb bag is absolutely worthless. I'll start using fire at that point, probably. Just because it's close, and I don't think that this floor has another blood donation machine, but the other floor does. This also could get me to the point where I'm able to go to the boss challenge room, I guess. Which isn't hugely valuable in all honesty, but it could be good, I guess. I'll look into it. I'll certainly look into it. Just because something is seven times more likely, or yeah, seven times more likely than most of the other items doesn't mean it's quick. Like, it, it, there are a lot of items in this pool, so just it takes patience to get the one that we want, even if there are seven of it. So we, we got time. It's crazy how even when I have Dr. Fetus, oh god, I can't say no. Scapular is just going to be, wow, <laughs> infinite uses of our D6 for us. I'm not going to go to the boss challenge room now, I don't really care to. So every time we get down to half of a heart and only half of a red heart, we get a soul heart. We can use that in conjunction with the habit. We can only do that once per room, but you just leave the room and re-enter and suddenly you're in business again. We can use that in conjunction with our habit to have infinite spacebar item use. That's pretty excellent. Onwards, though. I don't know which way is the right way. I'm gonna hope it's this way. There was a tinted rock. I should spend all of my time blowing up as many rocks as possible in the womb, as you cannot tell tinted rocks from regular rocks. And I have infinity bombs, so I, I should just blow them all up. Screw it, let's take that chance. That was worth it, even if I lost my half heart, uh, meaning I lost Polaroid invincibility guaranteed after a while. Oh, I can't believe I let that hit me. So there is nothing that gives me an item room item. which means nothing to get Mr. Mega from. I mean, it's fine, I'll get it in the chest, it's just a matter of I wanted it now. Three bombs, Jesus Juice is a damage up and a range up. Damage up does affect Dr. Fetus. Let's see what's in here. Krampus, I'm gonna reroll his item because I don't think Lump of Coal will do anything for a Dr. Fetus bomb, or for a bomb in general, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't do anything for Dr. Fetus. Even though normal damage does. Bad trip is good to have, but I don't think I'll need it. Packed, two soul hearts. Damage up, tears up. I like it. Well enough, at least. Well, that's uh, not the room I was looking for. Not even a little bit. Of course, I could use it to attempt to get an item to reroll to Mr. Mega. But I'm in no hurry. I am truly in no hurry. Sit and die. All these health down pills that I just can't possibly make good use of, because there there's no real good use at the moment for health up, health down that is. Blow up all the rocks. Every single one. You don't stand a chance against me, rocks. Why don't you just give up? Eye blob, 1 in 400 replacement for Clot and Clotty. Cool, I guess. I don't really have a use for him. Die. And this is why I hate lumps. Okay, so we got a tinted rock. I don't need to blow up any more rocks in this room. Bombs or key is not enticing. I want to have as many keys as I can, and I don't happen to have more bombs. So let's try not that way, let's try left. Curse of Darkness really impedes my life. Because, I mean, I could just be sailing through this level because of my compass. But here I am doing the opposite of that. Ain't nobody like doing the opposite. Two of Hearts doubles our filled health, as in it's up to half of our health in recovery. Alright. 
Tinted rock, please. Oh, I missed one. Oh, come on. Alright. Oh, another wrong way. I know one way I didn't go, but I don't expect it to be the right way, so I'm not going there yet. But if I have to, I will certainly finish off that path and be disappointed that I didn't pick the right way sooner. Wait. I skipped a room while... No, I didn't. I'm good. <laughs> well, at least it shut me down quickly. 66. Okay. I don't need that money for anything. I really don't. Alrighty then. Note that multiple Mr. Megas do not stack as far as I know. So I'm going to pick it up right away if I get it in the first chest or something. In the chest, that is. Because I don't want it to appear more than once. I could. Like, it could appear all four times for all I know. I could just decide to be, oh yeah, I'm crazy. But I'd probably prefer that not happen. If I had to take a guess. Okay, there's our uh, boss at ultimate long last. Uh, they're both dead. Okay, you die, now both of you die. Okay. Haha, -ha, my dodge was smoother than your movement. Alright, this is excellent, of course, as I can just do this and not have to worry too much, ultimately. Wow, it got stuck there for a while. But you you are noticing how I'm firing my bombs relatively quickly compared to what you might expect the time is. That is because fire rate has an effect. This is, of course, as fast as they can possibly be fired, though. To the cathedral, where we don't get Curse of Darkness and the chance of the boss being easy to find are very slim because of its location. Uh, is the secret room here? No, of course not. I'm thinking I might have chosen the correct direction, however. Cool, more soul hearts are always welcome. I don't know why I'm getting so many soul hearts. I'm just lucky today, I guess. Because I don't have anything to increase their chance. So it's just weird to me that I'm getting so very many. Oh no, this was the wrong way. I'm surprised and stunned. Not really. Though it did seem promising. Let's get on with our life. Yes, our singular life. Not our lives. We all only have one life. And it's cumulative. Oh no. Not good, yeah. Pretty much could have told you I was going to take damage. Only took it once, though, so I guess that's good. Suddenly, it's not balls of steel anymore. It's bombs or key every time. <laughs> every time. Oh, I bombed the wrong thing, that's for sure. Oh, that hit me. You what? Alright, Isaac fight should be pretty simple. Let's get it on and done with. Let's not take too much damage, however. We aren't going to hit much, so we shouldn't get shot at much. That's the good thing going on here. Okay. Yep, we're good. The lack of angelic babies as well as their immediate demise is good. We had the Polaroid, so we get to go to the chest. There's our Mr. Mega. I should take that now. We're getting pills. Um, I, I don't see a reason to take a PhD. Lucky foot as well. We're getting pills because uh, we have the uh, safety cap that inc that like allows them to drop from chests as well. Which, of course, uh, this could be a health up. Let's see how little I care. I blow this up and it gets me another item. I'm just gonna reroll everything. Uh, then I'll take the bombs or key pill, in case I need it. We have four rerolls in here. 
Uh, I'd say that I should just fully clear the chest, of course. Since we're in, uh, we're in pretty good power shape. Two of diamonds to double my money. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so there are two items in there. We also have troll bombs, basically. Super troll bombs. Giant, hugely damaging. Homing. It's crazy. The enemies won't know what hit them. I'm waiting for Polyphemus baby, baby, basically, is what I was trying to say. There's the rainbow baby, though. That might have come into play a little bit there. No. Oh, yeah. I left as it exploded, so it didn't actually have an explosion. Okay, so bombs will do less damage if they swallow them. Maybe not. I don't know, man. We're fine. And I'm going the opposite direction of the boss, simply because every time I say that you can't really dodge the feet from this boss, people are like, you can see the shadows. Yeah, they're not there long enough for you to really dodge them. They're just there long enough for you to say, oh yeah, there's a thing as I get hit, because it's immediate, pretty much. Like, yeah, it's, it's a nice thought. But it is not quite what you think. Sadly. Another yum heart. That one's from the item room pool. But it's an extra item to reroll, basically, so it's all good. Little Gish is not actually something that I would mind. But I'm probably not going to take it. I don't need it. I don't need its tricks. It is just full of trickery and stuff. Oh, look how pitiful your bombs are in comparison to mine. Look at that. Pitiful. Your bombs are tiny. Your bombs are bad, and you should feel bad. Oh, yeah, I took a speed up. You want to fight about it? <laughs> oh, that was almost beautiful. Of course, you can't bomb your way out of rooms in the chest, so there's no reason to be like, oh yeah, you're wasting rerolls right now. Sacrificial Dagger completes my orbital of uh, the perfect orbitals, the best ones. It does lots of damage, 15 per hit. Quad Shot would be bad. Uh, but it also doesn't really block tears very often. So I can't really count on it for that, but I can count on it for 15 damage per hit. Pretty frequent hits. <laughs> That's the best way to fight things. Bad trip does not appeal to me, although I can see my health. That's alright, I'll be fine. Excuse me. Death. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? I don't know what you think you're here. Oh gosh, you thought you had something, didn't you? <laughs> this is Scythe! It won't go away. Fine, Scythe. You win this round. Oh. Finally, now I can quadruple reroll once again for something that might help me out. Oh! Well, I know what I'm gonna have to do. Use this tears uphill. Uh, I can move this. <laughs> oh gosh. I probably should have moved it with the other thing, not the yum heart, because the yum heart can keep appearing. Oh boy. Well, we all know what's happening now. I'm gonna double full clear the chest, assuming I don't die due to my incredible, incredible feeling of overwhelming victory. Oh no. One of the worst rooms given certain situations, which seem to be the ones happening right now. My intense damage should hopefully be enough to overcome this incredible stacked set of odds. Death, I really don't have interest in. Useful as it could be, I don't see a need. There's the bloat. Bloat is dead. We have another quadruple reroll. 
And that'll get us something great. No, it won't. It really won't. <laughs> Come on. I've rerolled so many things and gotten so little out of life. Nope, you stop it right now. Okay, don't do that. There you are. Balls of Steel is actually very welcome. I do have this now, so I can go into the secret room and top secret room as I walk by them. Since they'll be just open to me. God, that took so long because he kept spitting spiders. Hi, Priestess. Sure, I'll use that. Oh, I got hit enough to get another reroll. That's okay. Of course I take the D6 to the boss room since I'm going to get hit in it twice, almost certainly. It means I get another uh, chance to reroll those four items. Telepathy for dummies, I may as well touch it. And then go reroll those four items once again. One of these days we'll get something good. I didn't need those anyway. Oh, or we won't. I mean, maybe we won't. That's also a distinct possibility. I'll take the three soul hearts, however. I'm not using the shop pool right now, so I guess I'm, I'm all good for that. Then we'll go do these last couple rooms and get our forget-me-now and leave. Oh, darn. Get out of here, green. Didn't need the money. The high Priestess, because why not? So much more damage than against Isaac is good. Oh my god. Blue Baby is dead. We have another reroll. Go figure. I did, I did figure that. I'll take the bombs or key, although a bad trip would probably be the smarter choice. Okay. None of these are valuable to me. So I guess we'll get out of here. With the forget me now. My reflection is not happening. I don't know if it actually works, but I'm not taking that chance. That's another bombs or key. This is an annoyance. But let's do it for fun. Cheers. Okay. I don't want to full clear the chest again. <laughs> I'm just gonna go to the boss. It takes too long. Okay, so you're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna do this. Oh, that was too early. I thought that one would be too late. That's Balls of Steel. Then let's get out of here. Fortunately, I don't have to go that way. If I did, I would have to damage myself significantly. Oops. Oh yeah, I can use this thing a lot. Because, oh my dear goodness, I have the habit and the uh, scapular. Deck of cards gave me the Empress. I mean, that's good and all, but what do I care about the Empress? It's a little bit of a damage up, I guess, but... Well, this is what I'm talking about. have to damage myself once to get through there, which is why I'm not going back through there. Wow, they took their time dying. Eternal Heart actually gets me a half heart so I can get Polaroid Invincibility. Obviously, this is the incorrect direction, just by the fact that the top secret room was there, and can't be adjacent to more than one room, unless the second is the secret room, and we already know that's not the case. I'm gonna not take health down, believe it or not. Alright. So I guess what you're saying is that I need to go this way. And then take the long way around. 
I can just run through everyone. <laughs> oh, I actually got hit. Hourglass. I use it while walking into a wall, by the way, so that I can, if I happen to get kamikaze, not take damage. That's a nice thing to be able to not do. Okay. Now. Sure. A bit of damage to each enemy in the room. 60, to be exact. Okay, get at me. I expect to be fine. And I almost ended up full clearing anyway. So I guess everybody's happy. <laughs> Oh yeah, our bombs butted heads. Mine was better. Oh look, it's Kamikaze in the flesh, which is not a fleshy item. Okay, I will keep the Dead Sea Scrolls. Yeah, I took another speed up. What of it? Triple loop. Fine, I can deal with that. Can also bomb myself. That sounds like fun too. Ah, excellent. The nail. And the Book of Revelations are both incredibly valuable to me at this point in time. Skeleton key is a bit late, but why not? Really, why not? Okay. Oh no, Mr. Boom, it wanted to kill me. Okay, this is finally going to do it in about a moment. Alright, we're done. I'm done. That's what you get when I take Dr. Fetus. You still get a 40 minute run out of it, and it turns out to be an hour long video. I hope you enjoyed the run. I'm probably not taking that again for months and months, if ever. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.